Hello YouTube, BigRedMC716 here, and welcome to part 8 of my Super Mario Bros. 3 playthrough. It's 4.45 in the morning while I'm recording this. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew, so let's get to it. Now, a question you might be asking yourself is, Big Red, at the end of last part you entered this place with a Tanuki suit. Now you're using the P-Wing to fly over it. What happened? Well, unfortunately folks, on my first try of this level, I died. Basically, the gimmick of this level is you gotta... All those blocks that you're seeing, all the question mark blocks, contain stars in them. What you're supposed to do, like I'm about to demonstrate, is you're supposed to grab the star and run over the nibblers here to get to the end of the level. And you gotta keep collecting star after star, and that's how you gotta do it. I unfortunately died my first time. So, yeah, I just cut to when I beat the level. Y'all might think it's cheating, but hey, at least I saved you a couple seconds of your life. But, let's see if we can get some extra lives here to make up for it. No. So unfortunately, I just wasted you guys' time. On to level 8. Got more piranha plants to deal with here. Whoops. Yeah, I cut the beginning out, but I left that in. Huh. I really am a dick. But alright, let's try it with the fire flower this time. Really, the fire flower is the more beneficial power up in this game, at least for dealing with enemies. The tail swing is alright, but you gotta get really close to your enemy to hit them with the tail. In Super Mario World, they would give you a little more leeway with the cape, but with the tail in this game, good god. You gotta get really close. The fire flower, you just gotta shoot a fireball and bam, they're gone. Going back to Super Mario World, they would also update the Fire Flower in that game and make it where every time you hit your enemy with a fireball, they would turn into a coin. But yeah. This level. Damn it. Yeah, so I just said screw it and took the hit there because I knew it wasn't. Fuck. I'll just cut back to when I get back to that point. There we go. A nice clean edit. Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless. It sure was, Wheatley. But anyway, yeah, I decided to use a P-Wing for this. Because as you can see, my life count just dropped dramatically because I died a fuck ton more times on this level. And I was just getting sick of it. So I just decided to P-Wing it. I'm sorry if I'm P-Winging a lot of levels in this playthrough, but... Trust me, this is not an easy game. You gotta play it to understand. But yeah, that's, le that's that level beaten. On to level 9. The first, Mushroom House. Alright, let's see what I'm getting this time. The frog suit. Which, do I even really need it? On to desert level. What? The hell is this doing here? We should be back in World 2. Seriously, sometimes Mario can three three can have schizophrenic level design as well as schizophrenic difficulty. But yeah, we're in le level seven nine, which should be two nine, because I don't remember how many levels two had, but I don't think it had this many. But yeah, this one's pretty much a pipe maze. You gotta find your way to the pipe at the end of the maze to beat the level. And by the way, that flower there, that, that's meant to be a mushroom in case you're small at that point. 
And if you can get under there and get it, more power to you. Congratulations. Because I sure as hell can't. I can get that one, but I don't want it. But yeah, there you go. That's so how you get through there. Sorry, I couldn't get another flower. Looks like I'm only getting one life at the end of this. On to the fortress. This is another place that can end up giving you a hard time. The leaf is useful to have here because of all the pits of lava. Oh shit. <laughs> but of course it can also be a bitch to have because you can't because it's hard to deal with these piranha plants. Oh shit. I don't know how I managed to avoid getting hit there. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, I say the leaf is a hazard to have at, right as I kill a piranha plant with it. Huh, I guess even the level wants you to use the leaf. They give it to you right then and there. Huh, doesn't this look familiar? But yeah, moving on. to nuclear womp wobbles got a womp the womp excuse me womps are those things from super mario 64 but anyway here we have boom boom once again haven't seen you for a while and he kicks my ass oh my god i lost to boom boom but yeah i just cut back to when i fight him again and this time i will actually beat him I don't lose to Boom Boom twice. Ain't gonna happen. That's how we do it. Although the shame will now live with me forever. Because I died to Boom Boom. Let's see if I can make up for it by getting any items for the old inventory. Ooh, I got that life back. Let's go. Instantly makes up for it. What? When did I die to Boom Boom? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think my live count went down. Alright, but anyway, on to the next pipe-filled piranha level. As I said before, those nibblers coming out of the pipes, they don't hurt you until they're f fully standing still with their... sitting still with their mouths open like that. Until then, they can't hurt you. That might be a good thing to keep in mind while you're going through. But anyway, what do I get here? A mushroom. Kind of disappointing. But at least now I can move on to the castle. At last. And Yoshi? What the hell is he doing here? But no, it's just the king transformed into Yoshi. So here we are. The seventh airship level. With the final coupling on it. And this one is definitely the longest coupling airship level. It's pretty much a gauntlet of what you've learned of a lot of the things you've encountered on the airship so far. Like these abacuses that you have to jump on. The oil drums that shoot fire out. I don't think there are any bullet bills here, though, which is surprising. But those guys that throw wrenches, they're here too, by the way. We'll be seeing them later. And by later, I mean right now. But, since I've got the Fire Flower, they're a breeze to kill. Damn it, I jinxed it. Yeah, whatever, there might be a flower, Fire Flower in that block, which I can't get to. Eh, whatever. I can just jump on these guys to kill them.
But yeah, like I said, a lot of abacuses here that you have to jump on. And you have to keep jumping on these, by the way. If you're not fast enough on your jumps, you'll fall into the bottomless pit below. And damn, this airship is incomplete. Look at all the tiny little pieces that are just flying out there. What, shouldn't those fall to Earth? Shouldn't they not be part of the airship? I mean, really. Good God, whoever designed this airship... Bowser! ...has horrible design... ...choices. This should not be happening. This airship is incomplete, damn you. But yeah, I've gone on long enough about the airship. On to the final Koopagling. Ludwig von Koopa. And like Roy Koopa, he has the ability, when he lands on the ground, to shake the ground up. But, of course, I whooped his ass. And yet I lost to Boom Boom. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. No, I didn't. Th my life count didn't go down. What are you talking about? But, okay, I think my life count's about to go down again! Because I'm falling from a big height! Hello, Viking man. Oh yeah, I should mention, in the NES version, his beard is brown. So he kind of looks like ZZ Top. But let's see what we get this time. What? Yo, I kidnapped the princess while you were running around. She's here in my castle if you dare to try and rescue her. Ha ha ha. King of the Koopa? What? Oh well. Bowser just made this personal. So in part 9, we're going to be going on to the final world in the game, World 8. See you then.